Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Lydia of Lydia Naomi Patterns and I also create sewing content on YouTube and today I'm very excited to collaborate with Nomi by Mimi G again with my second pattern. It is my fall ruched number. This dress is completely reversible. It is two dresses in one. So we have the raglan sleeve on the front with the asymmetrical ruching detail and on the back we have a yoked sleeve with a center back ruching. So I can literally stand here and turn this dress around. Let me show you. Ta-da! We have a completely new dress. So make sure you get your pattern and let me walk you through the sew along. For materials, you will need 5 and 5 eighths yards or 5.3 meters of 3 eighths or 1 centimeter wide elastic, plus two different knits, and of course, your sewing thread. The fabric I chose is a tensil jersey in a hot pink and a soft pink. This pattern requires that your jersey is a 50% stretch, and you can very easily test this on the back of your pattern envelope by taking a 4 inch wide folded section of fabric and stretching to the end of the black bar. Make sure you're not straining the fabric as you stretch. If it doesn't reach the end of the black bar, it's not stretchy enough. And if it goes beyond, it's too stretchy and you may consider sizing down. Most of the seams are able to be sewn with a straight stitch, but some will either need a zigzag or overlock stitch. I will let you know and you'll be able to observe that as I sew. Make sure you take a look at the back of the pattern envelope for sizes and notions and read through the instruction booklet provided, especially the glossary of terms if you're unfamiliar with paper patterns. The seam allowance for this pattern is 5 eighths of an inch or 1.5 centimeters unless otherwise mentioned. You can really color block as you desire, but I cut all the front pieces out of one color and all the back pieces out of the contrasting color. We are going to start the construction by narrow hemming the lower edges of the right front and left front pieces, piece one and two. So this means to fold the hem in twice at a total width of 5 eighths of an inch or 1.5 centimeters. You're going to see me use a little piece of paper at the start of some of my seams throughout this video. And this is just a really great tip to get that fabric started in the machine and keep it from getting all chewed up at the start. With right sides together, stitch the long curved seam in the front sections, matching the notches. And I'm sewing with a straight stitch. Next, press the seam open so that we can create channels for the elastic. To create the casings, stitch half an inch or 1.3 centimeters from each side of the finished seam. With right sides together, fold the tie end or piece four in half lengthwise, having the raw edges even. Stitch the outer edges at three eighths of an inch or one centimeter seam, leaving one end open. Trim down the seam allowance and then you can turn it right side out. I like to use a knitting needle to do this. Then I'm going to press it. I'm using this loop pressing bar so that I can really get a nice even press.
Next, cut out two pieces of elastic according to the length of the elastic guide for the front, which is piece 5, and also transfer the seam allowance markings. Attach the elastic to the open ends of the ties as shown. Attach a safety pin to the free end of the elastic and insert the elastic from the hem into the casing channels. Secure the elastic ends with a pin at the neckline, then just stitch those in place. Moving on to the sleeves. Narrow hem the lower edges of the front sleeve or piece 7. Then you're going to place the sleeves right sides together to the armhole of the front dress, matching the notches. And I'm using a serger stitch, but you can also just use a zigzag stitch for the seam so that it allows for stretch. And of course, you're going to secure the elastic into the seam as you sew. Then you can press the seam towards the sleeve. Now we're moving on to the back and we're going to start in the same way. I almost forgot to do this step first, so I actually sewed them together, right sides together, and sewed that large curve seam. And then I realized and I undid the bottom hem area and I narrow hemmed the hem, just like we did with the front and with the sleeves. So you need to do that first. Then you can sew up your center back seam, the large long curved seam. After which we will press the seams open and flat and top stitch half an inch from the finished seam to create the elastic channels. And as you can see, I'm doing all of this with a straight stitch. Next, you're going to cut your two pieces of elastic, the length of your elastic guide for the back, so piece six. I already did this and attached it to the ties. I like to do all of them at the start and just read ahead and get them all ready. You can do that too, or you can do them as we go. Then again, you can feed through the elastics through the channels. You can use a safety pin like I did originally, or I have these clover loop pressing bars that are really great for feeding them through at the same time. Next, stitch the center back seam of the sleeve back or piece 8. Then you can press the seam toward the left back. Then narrow hem the lower edges of each sleeve. With right side together, pin your assembled yoke back sleeve to the upper edge of the back matching the notches and you can stitch together catching the ends of the elastic at the center back. And make sure that you stitch with an overlock or zigzag stitch. Okay. 
and you can press the seam towards the dress body. With right sides together, stitch the front to the back at the shoulder seams matching the notches. I'm using my straight stitch again because we're doing the ruched seams. And I pulled out my tailor's ham so that I can press the sharper curves on the sleeve. We're also going to create channels here, so again, stitch half an inch or 1.3 centimeters from each side of the seam. Next, you can cut four pieces of elastic the length of the elastic guide for the sleeve or piece nine and attach these to your ties. I have mine all ready to go, so now I'm going to feed the elastic into each sleeve seam and secure at the neckline. It is now time to finish the neckline. So we are going to stitch the ends of the neck facing piece, piece 10, right sides together. And the instructions are slightly different here in the pattern. What I did was I folded in one side of my neck facing by 5 eighths of an inch or 1.5 centimeters. And then I attached the unfolded side to the neckline of the dress with the seam at the center back. And then I pinned it in place. I then sewed it to the dress with a zigzag stitch and I also understitched it as well. I understitched by folding the seam allowance towards the facing and stitching close to the seam with a zigzag stitch. Then I folded the facing towards the inside of the dress and pinned around the neckline and I stitched it with a zigzag stitch. And you can see here that I have a basting stitch in place so that I could stitch it from the outside and that really helps get an even stitch. Now that the neckline is done, we are going to place the dress right sides together so that we can sew the side seams from sleeve to hem. Because I wasn't 100% sure how exactly it would fit, I thought it'd be a good idea to use a basting stitch to sew it together. That way I could try it on and see if it fits, and if not, I could take it in a little bit or let it out a little bit. It fit perfectly and this is a size 12 for reference. So I took it to the serger and sewed up the side seams. You could also use a zigzag stitch instead. I finished the serged seam by pulling the serge tail through the stitch loops and I also did a little back stitch at each end just to secure it. If you've done a zigzag stitch, you could just fold under the corners of the seams and stitch those in place for a neat finish. And that is your dress completed. I would love to see what you make. 
Use the hashtag ME2049 and tag me at Lydia Naomi Studio. Also tag simplicity underscore creative underscore group. And we would love to see your makes. Thank you so much for watching.